Have you ever had a dream when you're with a group of people who are all chatting away to each other, but you're invisible, and if you speak, they can't hear you? That's what life is like if you are speechless. That's a regular occurrence, being talked over and not part of conversations. Two and a half years ago, I was diagnosed with MND, motor neuron disease. I'd already noticed changes to my speech and had already lost my balance, so I could only walk with aids. To help with my mobility issues, I have to use a walking frame or rollator indoors, and this powered wheelchair around town. It takes a while to get used to the stigma of using these aids, but you get over it. But what about speech? My brain is 100% fine, and my hearing also perfect. Motor neuron disease is where the signals from the brain that control the muscles in the body are weak. So the muscles in my mouth and throat that create speech no longer respond well to what my brain tells them. So, is there the equivalent of a wheelchair for my speech? Before my voice had changed much, I banked it. This involved reading and recording a story. This was then processed and digitized. I can now type into an app on my phone or this iPad and the result is what you are listening to now, pretty close to how I used to speak. But there's no spontaneity, I can't type quickly, so conversations are impossible. My artificial voice has no intonation, the variation in pitch used to indicate attitudes and emotions. When we talk it's more than just words. Some of these issues will be overcome soon by the use of artificial intelligence, which will understand the context of what I'm saying and by using cameras the environment in which I'm into. In fact, artificial intelligence can go much, much further. The more that is known about me from online chats, such as reading, social media posts, email and so on, the more possibilities for a chatbot to talk to you as me, saving me the trouble. I can still speak, although my voice can be hard to understand, even for those close to me. And I often think that if I knew I only had a certain number of words left to speak, what would I say? This talk is around 600 words long, so it isn't much. In a typical day, each of us speaks around seven to 20,000 words. What would you say and to whom? Would you say nice things to those you love? Would you say different things if you had a million words left to say? We don't know how many words we have left, so why not make sure you say nice things to those you love and care for every day? There's no need to say mean or hateful things from your 1,000 word limit. So why say such things in the rest of your speaking life? I'd like to ask you to think of some of the words you might use if you were losing your speech, maybe up to five, and keep them clean. Write them down and we will add them to our word cloud over the weekend. Thank you.
is in the Word's house from yesterday.